God is able. That is a truth that we see throughout the scriptures. There is nothing that is impossible for God. My name is David Oginde, and in this continuing series of Sitam at 60, I want to share with us on God is able. Many times when we come to God, sometimes we think that there are things that are too hard for God. We imagine that there are things that God cannot do. But over the years, what I have seen, especially through this ministry called SITAM, is that God is able to do far more abundantly than what we ask or even imagine. I'll just share a very recent example. Beginning of this year, we as a ministry decided we were going to plant seven churches, six churches. This is something we have never done and it sounded like an impossibility. We always plant like one or two churches at most within a year. But we say, let's trust God in these 60 years to uh, plant one church for each decade, making six churches in one year. It sounded like an impossibility. And so we planned from January, we said we will uh, prepare ourselves and by the time we get into September, we will begin to roll out these church plants. To our amazement, right from the month of March, the first church was planted. By the time we got to June, July, actually <laughs> six of the churches were already rolling out. It's an amazing thing. Right now we are actually looking at the seventh church because God like gave us a bonus out of that church, uh, church plant plan. And what has come to me is that God, when we put our faith and our trust in him, is able to do far more abundantly than what we ask or even imagine. And many times when we come to God, we put limitations. We think, this far God can do, but this far God cannot do. We put our own human limitations and we think that what we can do is what God can do. But let me tell you, God is able to do much more. And so I have looked at this and I've thought to myself, you know, sometimes we limit God even in our own personal lives. You are trying to undertake a project and you are thinking it is not possible. You want to start a business and you are thinking it is not possible. You want to uh, get into a marriage relationship and you are thinking it is not possible. Uh, whatever it is, God is able to do far more abundantly than what we ask or even imagine. This has proved year after year, time and again in this ministry called SITAM. As we celebrate 60 years, I can give you testimony after testimony of the things that God has done because he's an able God. And so there is nothing impossible. I am reminded of the time that an angel of the Lord came and appeared to young girl Mary, the mother of Jesus. And the angel told him, you are going to be with child and your child is going to be called Emmanuel because he's going to save the world. Mary was so surprised and said, I am only a virgin girl. How can this be possible? And the angel asked, is there anything too hard for the Lord? The same kind of question was asked of Abraham when he was told that he was going to have a child. In fact, Sarah or Sarai, his wife, heard, overheard the discussion and just laughed. But again, the angel, the messenger who had been sent to them asked, is there anything too hard for God? The, of course, the obvious answer is that there is nothing that is too hard for our God. And yet, this is something that many of us know in the mind. Many of us know that there is nothing that is impossible with God. The problem is trusting God to do the impossible in our lives. And many of us we have kind of put limitations. This far God can do, but this far God cannot do. In fact, we have looked at some diseases and we think they are impossible. God cannot heal this one. We look at uh, uh, some of our plants, we think this is impossible. But 
Today, I want to challenge every one of us because the Bible tells us that there is nothing that is impossible with God. Anything is possible with God. I'm reminded of the three Hebrew boys who were arrested by Nebuchadnezzar. And uh, he wanted them to bow before the, uh, the idol that he had created, the image that he had created. And they said, we are not going to bow. And there was a fairy furnace that had been set up so that anybody who does not bow, he's going to throw them in. And when these young boys refused, uh, not Pharaoh, but Nebuchadnezzar asked them, I'm going to throw you into this fire. Which God is going to deliver you? And the three boys were confident to tell him, our God is able to deliver us. And he said, they said, even if he does not deliver us, even then we will not bow to your image. They were thrown in and God delivered them. In fact, the people who threw them in are the very ones who got burnt by the fire. God is able to do far more abundantly than what we ask or even imagine. There is nothing that is impossible with God. We should allow our minds to be freed by the Spirit of God. When you feel like limitations are coming in your mind, you want to embark on a project, you want to embark on a journey, you want to embark on an idea, and your mind is telling you it is not possible. Tell your heart, tell your mind, with God, all things are possible because there is nothing that is impossible with him. Jesus told his disciples, if you have faith like a mustard seed, you can speak to this mountain and say, be moved from here and go to the sea and it will be thrown into the sea. That God is available today. He is able to do the same things that he did in those years for each one of us at an individual level and each of us as a family, he can do it in a ministry, he can do it in a nation if we put our trust in him. Because with God, nothing is impossible. Now this for some of us may be sounding like pie in the sky, dream that will never come true, but I would invite you to try it out. Put your trust in God and see if he will not do much more than you think or imagine. If you'd want me to pray with you, I want to pray right now so that you may experience the great power of God that is able to do mighty things than we ever even imagine. Would you like to pray with me right now? Let us pray together. Everlasting Father, somebody is struggling with an issue an impossibility in their own minds. They have considered the situation, they have weighed the matter, they have calculated what is required, they have considered the cost, they have considered the depth and length of this all, and they have come to that conclusion, it is impossible. But Lord, that is where you come in because you are a God of impossibilities. We have seen you do it over and over and over again. And I want to pray right now for this person who has put their faith in you and they are trusting you to do something that, Lord, you'll come through for them. Do that which no man can do. Reach out to them and show them that you are a God who is able because there is nothing that is impossible. And so I pray for every man, I pray for every young person, I pray for every woman who is listening, that Lord, would you come through for them and do that which only you can do because you're a God of impossibilities. We pray in Jesus' name, amen. If you have said that prayer and you would like us to join you in celebrating the great things that God has done or is going to do, please get in touch with us. Our contacts are right there on the screen and we will be happy to celebrate with you or to stand with you and walk with you as you wait for 
the answer that God is going to bring your way. God bless you. My name is David Oginde. It has been a pleasure to share this message with you. Thank you and God bless. See you next time.